Hello, hello, hello. Ridgeway Racing here in the Delara F3 here at Sonoma. We're going to jump straight into the corner by corner analysis. As always, the setups on Patreon. All that extra information's in the description. Into turn one, we go. Full speed. Take it out wide to the right. Bring it to the left. We want to break right around this curb. Bring it back over to the right. Get on throttle as this kind of pitch of the road changes. Be a little careful. Uh, we'll jump, look, look back at that one one more time. So. We want to take it all the way, you know, really, really get our line right here. We want to get it all the way to the right, bring it over to the left. Uh, I'm cutting this curb a little bit just to straighten out the car. I want to break into this elevation change, maybe what you could call like the inflection point as we go from sort of a very positive slope. And now the slope's still positive. We're still going uphill, but it's less positive. So we get a change in slope there. Uh, it's going to want, it's going to kind of, Reduce the amount of grip you have on the rear tires. It makes it a little hard to throttle early on the apex. If you do, you, you can't, you got to ramp it up slowly. So you got to be careful there. Uh, on this one, go slow here. Uh, we'll do the whole thing slow real quick. Hit the brakes, hold the brakes, hold the brakes, turn the car, touch the curb. And just get on that throttle. Just come on car. Don't, don't spin out on me. So that's, uh, you know, turn two. Turn one is right after the finish line. Isn't really anything. Um, and then we jump straight into turn three. Let's go full throttle through here for the most part. And then it's just a uh, semi-hard break. And uh, it's, it's pretty quick. The same thing, we have that inflection point. So the same thing that applied to the previous corner, I would apply to this one. Uh, so we go into this one. I'm basically going full throttle through here, getting as far over to the left as I can, getting on the brakes, no, it's up, up to 50% and then just getting on the throttle and it's very difficult to see where the exit ends at. Like, how much road do I have? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I, okay, I'm okay. Get ready for the next turn. So this one takes a little bit of practice, but you can get on throttle a little bit faster than the previous corner. Uh, and then we head into turn four. I'm breaking at the end of this curb as hard as I feel comfortable with. I turn it really hard, bring it over, get back on throttle as fast as I can. Uh, so for this one, one time, one time, <laughs> um, one time, break it real hard, bringing it down to about second gear. Uh, FYI, my gear ratios are a bit different than the uh, baseline setup. And so that's the key with this one. So one more time, into the curb, somewhere around there, get on the brakes, slow it down, bring it down to second, turn it, get on throttle as hard as you can, and you can really punch it out of here. Uh, we head through here full throttle full throttle we're going to go up this hill and get ready to slow it down as we go down the hill just gently trail break trail break turn it and then there's all this grip right here and you can really turn it. uh give that wheel extra <laughs> extra bit of input right um so for this one it's not too bad we just start slowing it down i just bring it down one gear i've even uh shifted down into fourth a little late and it, it feels nice too and I'm, I'm punching the throttle coming out of it. So I'm just sort of trying to find a place where the car is going to accept this punch of throttle. And then here I can really turn it and try to grab all that extra grip. If you look one more time right through here, we'll do one more in the cockpit. I want to break as late as I can and carry as much speed through here uh, and sort of take it as late, like this apex as late as I can. And as the track dips, just grab it as hard as I can and not let back off the throttle after I've pushed it down. It's a fairly decent straight for this track, so we want to carry as much speed out of there as possible. And into turn seven is a fun one. Um, I'm braking somewhere around there. This one I took a bit wide. Uh, it's probably a bit faster not doing it just the way I did it there, but we'll talk about it. You can see I missed the apex. Uh, this one, from a visual standpoint, it's like where, where you can't see the apex, like where the braking marker is. I can't see the apex, somewhere about there, uh, maybe a few signs in, you know, that's one sign, two sign, three sign, four, put the brake on the floor type of thing. Uh, so I'm a little bit late on this one. I think I'm late more from not putting enough brake down early on, but I'm bringing it back, letting off the brake, turning it in, but I'm not, I'm not hitting the apex here. If I go a bit wide, it's okay. Um, it could be faster if done more properly, but just just breaking down what not to do. Uh, but really, the goal here is to get 
this thing turn and get back on throttle and not let back up because we're about to go full throttle through several turns here so that's it we're out of that one we're going full throttle we're going to just let it rip here so this next section is uh all about the line you can go full throttle if you hit it right um and i think with this setup it's probably better off than the baseline just with the the way i've i've tuned it up mainly to be full throttle through here so i'm just not letting my foot off the gas turn i gotta turn over to the left right here's another place for a lot of grip and there's a lot of exit here more than it feels when you first do this and then even this is full throttle bringing the car over to the left trying not to scrub off too much speed and really carry it into the last corner so uh i would say the biggest key here is where this grip is let's see the biggest key is probably the, the racing line so we'll do this one real quick it's pretty easy, but we want to get the car over to the right, maybe over these lines, bring it back over to the left. I try not to touch the curb, not to disturb the car, but right here is where all the grip is, right in front of us. And we can really just grab the track and uh, not be too concerned with going off track there. Get a little bit more room with that curb. We didn't need it, but that's all right. The rubber on the track is all the way to the right. I've been driving it close to the, the line here. I don't, I don't see an issue with it i don't think i'm losing time hope not and then here it's really just you know the first if, if you want to outlap you're gonna maybe have to lift a little bit through this last corner and maybe some of the previous ones but uh once the car settles in tires up to temperature you can really just let it go here um and i have even more you know runoff uh, you have these curbs over to the left you can use if you uh go wide so don't get too worried like you might be over here going like am i gonna make it am i gonna make it and you're, you'll be fine most likely i don't know so braking here is right at or before these cones heavy as i can i'm trying to slow it down as much as possible I actually bring it all the way down to first and then back up to second so i did a little engine braking and i'm trying to get on throttle as much as i can um I'm up in a second. I even lifted a little bit because I think I play it one time through real quick. I'm slowing down as much as I can, all the way down to first. Slow it down, bring it to second, and go. And I thought I was going to hit the wall. So I gave it a little lift, but that's all right. And then the rest of it, just flat out. Get ready for the uh, turn one. It's not a lot of places to take a sip of your beer on this track. Uh, this lap ended up being a 22.9. Uh, I did a race stint with it, uh, and you can really wear the tires out pushing, so you gotta be a little bit careful there. Uh, that was with like a little two lap quality run, and then I did this three lap one here. So that was my first under, you know, sub 123 lap. I figured it'd be a good one to use. Um, I guess the other thing I will say is I, I think the optimal ended up being, let's see, 122.6. So I got, a, I got a bit more time to make up, uh, you know, and, and hopefully we'll, we'll be able to pull it off. Uh, but, you know, thanks everyone for, for all the support and watching this. That's the end of this one. Uh, the next thing up will be the in-cockpit lap and the chase cam lap. No voiceover. So enjoy and good luck at Sonoma next week.